I've never been a mother, but I grew up in an orphanage and I had 68 brothers and sisters and I found myself, people ask me, will you ever have children? I'm like, mm-mm. Some of the things that I love to talk about in my speeches are leadership, inspiration, and motivation. But I also love to talk about appreciation, mindfulness, culture excellence, and education, because growing does not happen without learning. Great experience seeing Maggie speak today. It was extremely motivational, impressed with her wherewithal, and really made me rethink what I'm doing with my career and, and how I can do better. The most exciting thing about what I do is the ability to connect with people and take them on a journey that they will never forget. I love to be able to turn an extremely sad circumstance from the past and make it into something entertaining and funny that teaches very important lessons. This wonderful, wonderful manufacturing facility. <laughs> to me, it is very important to relate to the people that I'm speaking to and find ways to make a tremendous difference in their lives. <laughs> and I said, wow, what if I tried it? I learned to play basketball really good by covering my eyes with the help of an orphan kid named Pancho. We found Pancho in a dumpster as a baby. He couldn't walk because he had spinal bifida and my job was to carry him everywhere I went. I was willing to do the unthinkable to try to gain a competitive edge and I did. I can tell you with certainty that I believe that when you focus your mind laser sharp on the things that you want most, you can accomplish everything that you want. Not just some things, but everything. All you need is a roadmap and everything you've got. When I first tasted Maggie Salsa, I was blown away. It was awesome product. I could tell it was fresh. I could tell it was made with quality ingredients and knew that it would be a great product for Walmart. I believe there are three levels of leadership. One. It's leadership on a personal level where you take charge of your life and create a better future for yourself. Two is a leadership within a team where you contribute to growing a culture and ultimately a better world for all. And three, a leadership where you learn to manage and grow a company from the top down. The key in all these three levels is to evaluate and identify your strengths and discover your weaknesses. Create a map and know what your ultimate end result is. It is a process of discovery that takes you from where you are to where you want to be. It is asking one simple question, and that is, what is my ultimate outcome? Because when you know what your ultimate outcome is, your outcome will be here, even though you have a hundred goals. You can be worried down here, but if you focus up here, you might not have to do three of those goals to get to where you want to go. Uh, this session with Maggie was absolutely incredible. It was amazing, the gamut of emotions. I mean, you're crying as you kind of hear her story, but um, she's just such a phoenix. She just absolutely has risen from the ashes, and her story, I think, resonates with anybody that's in the room listening, and such a rags to riches story, and man, just so incredibly inspiring. I know I'm going to be a better leader after having listened to her presentation. One of my greatest passions is helping people find meaning in who they are and in what they do. Only then is when life is worth living because you are living with purpose.